Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I got a good one for you. Today we're gonna be making mushroom tincture for the first time. Now before we get into the video, I do wanna let you know that this video is being sponsored by me. All of the machines that you're gonna see in this video can be purchased on my website, shop.goodeats420.com. I have literally sold thousands of these machines myself. And fun fact, my first major sponsorship was with Magical Butter. I have actually taught hundreds of thousands of people how to use a Magical Butter machine, but they do not sponsor me any longer. I sell the machines on my website, shop.goodeats420.com. So if you decide to get one of these machines based on this video, come over to my website where you can buy it right there. And by the way, you can use the code THANK YOU, all together one word, to save yourself $10 if you decide to get one of these machines. I basically just go over to their website once a week, so that way I can make sure that my prices are the same as theirs. But on my website, you can save $10 by using the discount code THANK YOU. Also, I do have a one year dealer's warranty on my website. So if you have any problems that's caused by the machine and not by you breaking it in the first year, you can contact me and I will replace it for you free of charge. Now let's get to today's video. All right guys, so the two machines that I'm gonna be using for this video are the Magical Butter Machine and the Onrock. Unlike the Levo, which you guys just saw on the channel, the Magical Butter Machine and the Onrock was designed to use alcohol with it. The Levo was not designed to use with alcohol and Levo recommends that you do not use that machine with alcohol. With the Magical Butter Machine and the Onrock, you can use it for butter, oil, alcohol, glycerin, whatever you wanna use it for, honey. It's really up to you with whatever you want to infuse. Now by the end of this video, you should basically know everything that there is to know about how to use these machines. You use both of the machines the same way. The reason I wanna use both machines to make my tincture today is because I know I'll have a lot of questions about which machine should I get on the website. The Magical Butter Machine has been around a lot longer than the Onrock, but you can do the same thing with both machines and the Onrock is cheaper. So some people are comfortable with a name because they heard about it a long time for years. Those people will probably get the Magical Butter Machine. Some people are worrying about what it costs and if it can do the job. Those people are gonna get an Onrock because the Onrock is cheaper than the Magical Butter Machine. What I wanna let you know is, it doesn't matter which one you choose, they both can do the job. So the first machine that I'm gonna talk about is the Onrock. Now the Onrock is a Canadian company and I actually have a wholesale account with this company. I actually know the owner and everything. Shout out to Jeremy, I'm gonna send him this video. But anyway, one of the great things about Onrock is, they have a large machine and a small machine. You use the machines the same way. The biggest difference is how much you can make with each machine. So with the large Onrock, you can infuse two cups to five cups. With the small one, you can infuse three fourths of a cup to two and a half cups. And you don't have to remember that. If you look in the machine, it's the same for the Magical Butter Machine as well. All these machines have a minimum and a maximum line. So if you look in the machine, it'll show you just how much minimum and maximum you can make with each machine. Now to make my tincture today, I will be using 190 proof Everclear. This is grain alcohol. This is the same grain alcohol that we use on the 420 side whenever I'm making Green Dragon, which is a tincture that you make with 420. I'm using the same Everclear to make my mushroom tincture. But let me tell you this, depending on what state you live in for everybody in America, 190 proof might not be available for you. Whenever I lived in California, the highest proof that was available was 120 proof, but I wanna let you know that it still will work. And for everybody who don't have a way to get any Everclear, you wanna use an alcohol that's at least 100 proof or greater. You can use that and you can do the same thing that I'm doing now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the Everclear bottles and I'm gonna pour them into each machine. As I just stated previously in the video, with the Magical Butter Machine, you can make two to five cups just like the large Onrock. But now that I have the Everclear into the machines, 
I'm going to take 14 grams a piece and I'm going to put them inside of each machine. I'm just going to grab the mushrooms out of this bag right here, weigh out 14 grams, and then I'm just going to break them up and put them right in the machine. You don't have to worry about grinding it up or anything like that. If you grind it up, it's going to make it really hard to filter whenever we filter it later. You just want to break it up into smaller pieces and the blades that you'll find on each of the machines will take care of grinding it up for you. All you need to do is just break it up in smaller pieces, just like you see me doing. And so once I have that done, all we got to do now is just plug in the machines and turn them on. On the 420 side, whenever I'm making a tincture, I either go 130 degrees Fahrenheit for eight hours, or I do 160 degrees Fahrenheit for four hours. Since we're on the mushroom side, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the lower temperature, 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna let it go for four hours. That's gonna be just fine. So in order to do it, it's pretty simple. You can see where it says temperature, hit the button two times, it's on 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you see right there where it says one, two, four, you see it says tincture right there. You can do four hours or eight hours. I'm gonna do four hours, hit that button, and there you go, the machine is gonna start. Now on the Onrock, the same deal. You're gonna hit this button right here so you can pick your temperature. I'm gonna put this one on 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Same thing, four hours. And as soon as you hit that, bam, the machine is gonna start. Now it's gonna take two to three minutes for the machine to warm up to the temperature that it needs to warm up to. But once it reaches that temperature, you will hear it while it's in action. Now these machines are louder than the Levo. Whenever you're using the Levo, you don't hear anything. You can literally be standing right next to the machine while it's running and you won't hear anything. Maybe just a light hum, but you really won't even hear that. With these machines, these machines make noise whenever they're working. So if you're planning on doing this, like when your kids are asleep or when it needs to be quiet, these are not the machines that's gonna be quiet. As a matter of fact, let me let you hear what it sounds like whenever they're in action. So here is the Onrock. And here is the Magical Butter Machine. Now the noises that you're hearing, that is the blade that's coming on and it's chopping up the mushrooms. That sound that you hear, it doesn't just stay on like that all four hours, but you will hear that sound every, I'd probably say every 10 minutes or so, you're gonna hear that sound. So I'm just letting you know, if you're in a situation where you need it to be quiet, you don't wanna use these machines during that time because you're gonna hear this sound every 10 minutes or so while it's in operation. But all right guys, we got everything set up. Now what you need to do is go find something to do for the next four hours. I'm gonna do the same and I'll see you guys in four hours. And while I'm waiting for the tincture to finish, I do wanna let you know that I set up a special code just for my audience right here on the Rookie Mycologist channel. I already told you that you can use the code thank you to get $10 off if you decide to get any one of the machines. You can also use the code ROOKIE on the same order if you want to get the ROOKIE pin for free. The only stipulation is you have to put the ROOKIE pin in your cart. So once you decide what machine or what bundle that you want, put it inside your cart. Then you need to put the ROOKIE pin inside your cart if you want it for free. Once you do that, you can use the code THANK YOU. It'll take off $10 and if you use the code ROOKIE, you'll get the pin for free. Thank you guys so much for the support. All right, so it's been four hours and I'm gonna take the tops off of each machine and unplug the machines. Once I do that, let me go ahead and give you guys a good look inside of here. It looks like the tincture in the Onrock has a lighter color than the one in the Magical Butter machine. But at any rate, what we gotta do now is we need to filter or strain our tincture. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Pyrex measuring cup. You can use a bowl, a measuring cup, whatever you have. And I'm gonna take this strainer and put it on top of here. Once I do that, I'm gonna take some cheesecloth and I'm just gonna make sure that I have at least two or three layers here. And I'm gonna put it on top of the strainer. Once I do that, I just need to pour the tincture over the cheesecloth, letting all the tincture run through it. And it's gonna catch the mushrooms that's left over. 
so you can see me pouring it out of here. And once I do that, I'm basically going to squeeze all the tincture out of the rest of this because we don't want to waste anything. Before I do that, let me grab some gloves. So I got my gloves on and you can see that I'm just squeezing it, trying to squeeze every bit of tincture that I can out of here. We want to squeeze it. So now that I got that done, take a look at what we got. So this right here is mushroom tincture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the bottle that it came in. To do that, I'm just going to use a funnel. So you can see I'm pouring it back into the Everclear bottle. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the Magical Butter Machine. I just went through all the steps so I don't have to go through all the steps again. Once I have all the tincture squeezed out of the mushrooms that's left, I'm going to put it back in the same bottle just like I did before. And so this is our final product right here. As you can see, we got about the same with each machine. The tincture in the Onrock is a lighter color than the tincture in the Magical Butter Machine. If you want to see what's left of the mushrooms, let me show it to you. This is the mushrooms that was in the Magical Butter Machine. Check it out. And this right here is the mushrooms that was left out of the Onrock. As for what to do with the mushrooms that's left right here, on the 420 side, all you can do with it is compost it or throw it in the trash. I'm not sure if there's any properties that's left with these mushrooms. I'm not sure if you can get anything outside of here. So I'm just gonna throw it away. If you want to, you can put it in something that you're making and see you know, if it works out for you. For me, I'm just gonna throw it away. If you have any questions about one of the machines or if there's something that I missed that you wanna know about, make sure you put it in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer it for you as soon as I see it. And real quickly here, guys, I do wanna invite you to come listen to my brand new single, Shrooms and Reefer. I just dropped it on my Bass Drop Keys music channel. It's also available on all streaming platforms right now too. So if you're interested in hearing it, I'll put the links in the description. If you wanna know where to get the spores from, come over to my Instagram account, the Rookie Mycologist Instagram account, click on the link tree link in my bio, and you'll see my recommendation on where you should get your spores from. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, peace guys, Ricky out.